I have my Jibun Techo in the A5 Slim. This is the Biz version with the uh, Kokyo cover. I ended up getting this from Jetpatents. I will put a link down below to the unboxing as well as all of the accessories that I did in the video. I just keep these here hoping that I'll use them. Hasn't really worked out so far, but you know, I'm, I'm trying. So in here at the beginning, I put these post-its down and I've been using them to house new passwords, a new email for work because I'm going to try to make this my work planner after this week and that's been working well. I've also put down some websites that my niece's teacher recommended for like at home kind of exercises for math and reading and stuff like that. So my monthly, I've just fallen off on. I don't know what my deal is. I can't seem to like do the weekly and the monthly in here. I don't know why it is, but it is. So <laughs> I don't know. I have done the setup video for like the unboxing of my Foxy Fix as well as a setup video for that. Um, I didn't do a Hobonichi one, I don't think yet. And that's because I'm going to be changing that up for the month of March, which again is today. I have not done anything for March in here yet because again, I'm going to set this up for work. So I'm going to take a break from showing this. So this was last week and I decided I was going to go ahead and plan in here. Um, I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan of planning by, let me show you how it looks, blank. Planning by blocking off stuff. Uh, I just don't have all that much to plan a lot of the times. I, you know, jam packed a few things in there, but I fall off a lot of times. So here on Sunday was my last day. I just like wrote everything down on Monday. I was just like, I'm going to write this down and it's totally fine. And I just did it by memory because I just don't care enough to plan this way, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, you can fit a lot on here. I mean, look how much you can really fit on here. I did go back and fill in um, most of these. I only missed one by going through and and looking at my like final count for the day. So this is my step count for my Fitbit. I did use this. This is like a... Anyway, so here is the clock for the Jibun Tacho, and sometimes people put it up here in this section. Um, but I put it down below because I like to put what I'm watching either in movies or TVs um, up at the top there. And so I use this for cardio. You can see right here where I wrote cardio, and then I wrote how much time, and then it was for Zumba. And it was so funny because if you've seen my other planning videos, you know that on Sunday I tried to do cardio. That was the one day of the week, other than on Monday, that I didn't do cardio. And that's just sort of how it worked out. So it is what it is. I just got so sore. Even though I only did like 15, 30 minutes, I haven't been doing any cardio at all. I was so sore that I just could not even make it. I was like, I'm going to die if I try to do cardio. So I didn't do it. And it is what it is. But I did some blocking of, of time here. Like, for instance, on Sunday. Move this to next week. You have my niece and I doing homework here. Um, and it has like this big old blocked off time. It says that we did from 12, one, two, three, and four. We kind of watched a little bit of TV and then did some exercises like walking around and planking and stuff like that in between this big block of homework, but we did work on homework from 12 to like four. So that's kind of what that means to me. I tried using the little stencils here and it was okay, but it just wasn't important for me to put that there. I just kind of put what we ate for the big meal of the day at the bottom. I only missed one day of that. So everything was like fine. I didn't really utilize the side here. It just didn't, I don't know. Sometimes I use the crap out of this, sometimes I don't. Still haven't made it to Happy Death Day 2, unfortunately. So I think my niece and I um, are going to have to wait until it's on like Fandango. I think that's what my sister uses. It's like a some kind of internet streaming that allows you to watch videos before they come out on DVD. So we'll see how that goes. And for the most part, this was like, it was fine. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I plan like this naturally. Do you know what I mean? Um, some people, this comes naturally for them. 
My stuff is kind of all over the place and having it all in one place as much as I want that, it doesn't work, at least not in this planner. So I'm gonna go back to um, doing what I've done in the past where I use categories probably and it's just gonna be for work and I've already um, set up this next week, which I can't show you because it's all, you know, work stuff and it has little notes and things that I need to do. So there is the Jibun Techo. Now we're moving on to my camel this is by travelers company this is a traveler's notebook and i'm just using this hobonichi closure which i've talked about before that i just like tied a knot so i didn't have to like cut this off just because i loved the brilliant turquoise um against this color i think it's lovely okay so on the inside of here um not much has changed but it is the beginning of march so i wanted to try out some new things so some things have been added this is a freebie which i will link down below and you saw the one from last month it was this guy here so it's by the same person but this one was a little bit too big to fit in my passport size, so I have it in here. I did make some of these washi tape samples. I was watching a video by Leela M. Martin, and she had made some. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so smart. I don't know why I haven't done it. And so I was feeling a little bit sick this week, and I laid in bed, and I was watching TV, and I had all of my washi. These are the MT, um, just the solid colors. And I have the other half over here. And I just went ahead and did the same thing she did. I just took a laminating sheet and ran it through with nothing in it. And I just went ahead and um, made it skinny enough that it could fit in here. I like to keep things like this on the go, but also at my desk because I have a writer's desk or a writing desk rather. And it's very narrow. It's meant to be that way because I share an office with my boyfriend and I have two desks. I have my computer desk and then this one that I do like my videos and arts and crafty things on. Um, and so I don't have a lot of space to be putting a ton of stuff on this desk. And... I like to keep my washi tape where I can see it. So I started making a bunch of these for all the washi tape I have, just so I have quick access to them and I don't feel the need to have to keep like a whole box full of washi tape on my desk, if that makes sense. So that was super helpful. I also have these. These came in the um, Traveler's Company a customized sticker pack for 2019 and these are just the same dots like the Hobonichi they're kind of a little bit transparent so that you can put them on your calendar and like mark dates in here I have two inserts that I made myself and then you can see that they are piggybacked and held together by um, this craft holder by Travelers Company You've seen this before, this is just my actions list. I've been working on them for a while now, just, you know, slowly but surely filling things in. This is an insert by pencil or pen. There might be a cover sheet to this that I didn't print, I can't remember, but it's just a dot grid of 50 pages and I printed this on Tomoe River paper so I can link that down below because it is a digital um, download. This insert is by a friend here on YouTube. Um, it's an insert that she asked me to try out and as soon as she gets everything finished and ready for um, printing I will go ahead and share that with you guys and what I'm going to be doing with that. On the back of this file folder I just have some journaling cards for tip-ins. And this is some ephemera from the 2019 uh, Passport, I believe, uh, for the monthly that I ended up getting. Then I can also tip in. And again, these are some more from that sticker pack. Uh, you'll see that these are the tabs that I use for um, my monthly and weekly. And they have these other individual tabs that you can use pretty much on anything. And I was thinking about using them on this dot grid to mark some things, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. So I keep them in there. I don't forget about them. On here, I have an Ollie clip. People ask a lot. This is an Ollie clip by Ollie Block on Etsy. And I mean, I, I recommend them because they're really great. They have magnets in there that are heavy duty. You can hold like a whole insert 
I mean, it's a very strong magnet. I'm just not excited about the price. I think that they're overly priced, but when you kind of own the market for things like this, I guess they can charge whatever they wish. Uh, this is the pen that I use, which is a high tech C in the point four, and I just clip it on with Ollie clip because I think like most people, pen holders, they just drive me crazy pen loops all of that stuff so I like one that's removable so this is by Traveler's Company this is Traveler's Notebook weekly with memo and it looks like this again I've mentioned that this is kind of like the Hobonichi Abek it comes in six months and there's another booklet with the second six months of the year so this one goes until June and I've done a couple of different things in here so I will show you the beginning part. I won't show you what's in front because I already have stuff written there. But this is what they call um, like a yearly index or like a future log. Mostly for me, I think they call it um, a yearly index. I will talk a little bit about the differences when we get further back. But anyway, I use this to write down any challenges I have for the month. So I ended up doing Inkorimo last month for February and so I wrote down names every single day for letters that I wrote for that day and so that's why I'm not showing that part but that's what I like to do in the beginning here so we're in March and let me show you how a blank one looks you have a week on one side and then a memo on the other and if you haven't seen this before um, you'll see that the line here goes straight across so you can bring the whole day all the way across if you want to or you can just kind of ignore that and use this for a memo page so since I am not using the Jibun Techo for the month of March because I'm going to try that out as a work planner you all know that I really like using this um, let me show you one more time so it kind of looks like this off to the side here. I decided I needed a space for that. So I decided I would set it up in here. So this is this week. Today is Friday the 1st. And basically um, in the Jibun Techo, I'm able to set it up this way. But since the columns are so narrow, I decided to set them up across the top. And I mean, it's working out fine. It's not like beautiful or anything because I just need a place to write this stuff down. So it's a little bit sloppy, but I don't care. As long as I get the information down, I'm really not worried. And so I think it's like Carrie Harling and a lot of other people who really talk about how as long as you have a handle on your planner system, you can change it into whatever planner you wish. And so it's the same thing. I'm just taking the same system I always use and putting it in a different planner. Uh, so over here I have movies and TVs and then I have my big meal of the day that I make, main focus, reading, and so right now I'm kind of just doing a lot of blog reading, um, The New Yorker, there's been some really great articles in there about what's happening in government that I've been reading and then um, I'm doing some short stories on myths about indigenous people and so I've just been kind of writing that in there. Over here, I have my audiobooks, which is kind of funny because I forgot that I wrote Perfectionist here. That's the first book in a series, and the TV series is going to be called The Perfectionist. But I'm actually reading um, The Good Girls, which is the second book, and so technically, these are The Good Girls. My bad. I wrote the wrong thing down, but I know kind of you know what I'm talking about I'm almost done with this book and then I'll start the third one and then I've been uh, keeping track of my Spanish here and I've been marking it off but then I also put these little circles there I don't know why I did that um, I just marked it off with a check but you can kind of like you know fill it in if you want to as well um, down here I, I put this little post-it because I ran out of space there was some space up here at the top because I wanted it to come straight across so I put a checklist up there but it wasn't enough space for me and that's so funny because sometimes in the Jibun Techo the space that's off to the side for tasks I hardly ever use it but this week I was like <laughs> I need to make a list I don't know I just went ahead and used the Hobonichi boxes and continued my list from here down here this was last week's it's a cute little comic book strip 
from Jet Pens, and they've actually been putting them on their Instagram if you want to check them out. They're so funny. These again are by Kawaii. Um, they're Kawaii Doodles by Pick Handle. Uh, but in the past, I've done things like this, where I have like the Ellister method that I like to use and make a big list there. Um, you know, sometimes it's a little bit more bare than that. And then this week, you know, I'm, I'm doing all of my habit tracking in here. And I don't mind it. Right now we're on Friday. This is the same setup as the Hobonichi Weeks. I don't care for the Hobonichi Weeks mostly because... I don't think I like the sizing. It's kind of weird. Um, but underneath the, the day of the week, they usually have like the phases of the moon. This one doesn't have that. I really appreciate that about the Hobonichi weeks. So I went ahead and I drew them in myself. I just used one of these um, circle stencils that I have in the Hobonichi um, stencils. And then underneath it, I went ahead and put um, what percentage of visibility there was. And then I just filled in, you know, <laughs> the little circles myself and you know it works just fine so if you're someone who wanted to track like in one of these spaces instead of doing like movies you could put your tarot readings here because you know the phases of the moon really um affect all the tarot stuff and i find all that stuff very very interesting so you could do something like that um so there's several ways you can use this insert this is just another way i'm trying it out for a while and we'll see how it goes um unfortunately for me <laughs> this month starts today on a Friday so it doesn't start on a brand new week so I'm gonna like at least carry this out for the first couple of days of March I try to set up like my planning for the month and say okay this is what I'm gonna plan for the month and move on next month however because this is kind of like a week that falls between February and March it's kind of awkward I don't know if I will continue this for all of March I might just go ahead and change it up after these three days. We'll see how it goes. Back of that, and then I'm very excited. So you remember this plastic guy that I ended up getting. I've talked about it in videos before. I ended up getting it from Amazon Japan, but I had to cut it down in order to fit here because it's like A4 size, so it's a lot taller. Um, I saw some sneak peeks of the April lineup from Traveler's Company on their Instagram and they're coming out with something kind of like this as a plastic folder and they're also coming out with an insert that has dot grid y'all. I was so excited. They also are coming out with an insert that is watercolor as well as like and I mean watercolor paper <laughs> and they are coming out with a bunch of other different things and it just looks so exciting and I'm really really hoping that they don't do what they did with the um colored paper that might have been limited edition but do you remember when they had inserts that were like pink uh, yellow and turquoise but they never came out in the U.S. they also had inserts that were um they were called like half trip or something they were trip inserts so they only had half the pages um than a regular insert and sometimes there's a lot of pages in the inserts and I like to take some out but it would be nice to already have an insert made that way uh those never came out in the U.S. either and I was really a sad panda about it um nowadays we've found ways to get around that so I'm I'm thinking that if they don't come out in the U.S. I will just go ahead and purchase them from somebody on Etsy and have them sent to me but you guys should be looking for them because I am super excited anyway this little printable die cut I will link down below and when you buy these cute little foxes they had a few uh, freebies so you've seen this one before and I have too this was one of the freebies that came when you purchased the whole set of this they were really cute inside here I have this this is like the last six months of the year and I will show you the first six months of the year and talk a little bit about that as we get further on to the end of this insert which is by Traveler's Company. This is the Traveler's Notebook Monthly. Again these are the stickers from that same little customized kit that you can purchase for 2019 by the same company and in here um, on the inside I went ahead and I taped this in because I forget you know what number the you know secretarial pocket is and whatever so I put this in here so that I can remember them and hopefully start referring to them by their name and by their number you guys have seen the month of January and of course last month February here is March so <laughs> it is snowing on and off still here in Colorado it's one of the worst winters we've had in a while 
which is great because we've had some really crappy summers due to the fact that it's too dry. We've had a lot of forest fires. So I'm grateful for the snow. I am, but I'm over it. So this month I decided to go with something cheerful. I used a little bit of a yellow washi tape underneath and then I layered it with this really cute little squirrel. Look, he's like juggling his nuts. There's just so many things you can say about that, but <laughs> he's so sweet. Look at his little chunky cheeks. And I just wanted something that made me smile because it's been a very depressing winter. I'm very much affected by the weather and I just, I can't get out of this like funk. And I thought, man, I just want to make everything cheerful just so that I can smile and be a little bit more happy because nobody wants to be around somebody who's just like depressed all the time. <laughs> anyway, so I made this cheerful. I've put some things in here, but not a lot. Usually after the first week or during the first week of the month, that's when I start planning heavy in here. Um, it never gets crazy, but I feel like there'll be more stuff that I'm going to be adding into here. Today we have our first regional game at home, Go Bobcats. So there is my monthly already and set up. And then I have this tab back here that says monthly. Um, again, I was watching Carrie Harling's new video and I showed you some of the things that I added to my passport after watching that video. These are the things that I added to my regular TN. So these inserts are by Peanuts Planner Co. I hope I said that right. I always say it backwards. I don't know why. But it's important to understand that the maker of these inserts makes them for ring planners. So some of them you can kind of turn into TNs. Uh, she has a lot of tip-ins. You can obviously fit into a traveler's notebook. However, you have to kind of, you know, size them down. So this one is one of those digital downloads and it's for the year. So it's like one of the bundle packs and it comes with like three different things, but it is like I don't know if she calls it A5 size. I think she might call it half letter size. So it's a larger, it can fit in an A5 size. Let me show you the actual, I printed them out the first time and I thought, holy crap, those are huge. So I just kind of went through and used these kind of to see what they would look like. Um, and you see how much bigger they are than the regular size TN. So I just went ahead and I printed them out at, I think 85% and you can go ahead and print them back to back like these ones, but I didn't want that. So I just printed them um, out individually the whole year so that I could glue them in here. I actually like just used a tape runner and that's why you see washi tape here because some of it was peeking through the writing and I just put them on the pages that had like that information that I don't find helpful. I know some people say it is helpful when you're in another country and you just don't have access to the internet, but I'm not in another country. So I just wanted to cover up all of that stuff. And I did. <laughs> then I put some more washi on the top just because there was just this big white space and I wanted to make it look pretty. But this is something you can absolutely use for a future log, especially if you're a lazy planner like myself and you're like, I'm not gonna draw all of that out and you just need some space for things. You can put birthdays here if you wanted a calendar within a calendar um, because sometimes they get too busy and you just wanted to track all of your appointments here but you wanted to track like birthdays here, you could do that. Or if you tracked like events and birthdays here and you wanted something separate for like maybe your YouTube or just for work, certain days that you're gonna be off, you could certainly do something like that. I have also used these in my A5 Leustrom 1917, and I basically use these in the back. I just set it up so I can show you. This is for my timeline of a book that I'm writing. Mine technically takes place over nine months, so I didn't even like, print out the last quarter of the year, but this just helps me go ahead and write some main events in and kind of track um, my timeline because sometimes it gets really confusing and you jump from a month to a day or two days, you do some events there and then you move on to the next month. So I just wanted to keep things straight for myself. That way it helps also keep it straight for the reader. Uh, you can just go ahead and ignore like the Monday through Sunday here, because there's always gonna be 31 days in January. The only thing you'll have to figure out is if like you have a leap year. So um, you can just use this however, and it, it doesn't matter what year 
you use it for. And I just thought that was kind of cool. So I just taped them in here. And you can just use this over and over again because, again, it's a digital download. So you can use it as many times as you want in that way. Of course, next year, if you want to have the Monday through Sunday be accurate, you would just, you know, buy the next one. But they were like maybe $4. It wasn't very expensive, so I didn't mind purchasing this at all. I remember in November seeing this when I found out about Peanuts Planner Co. when I was really into the rings and I was sitting at my rings because I thought that's what I was also going to be in for 2019. Mm -hmm. That didn't really work out. Um, I, I wanted to print this out and I ended up not printing it out because it was already November and I was going to have to you know buy the whole year and only have it for two months and then I forgot about it. Luckily Carrie Harling had it in her video and I was like oh yeah I love these and I want to try them out. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put back here having a calendar within a calendar but I have some options. I might go ahead and just put like my video setups in here and then again you can always use like highlighters to mark certain days like if you want to do holidays or whatever but very excited about that and then the last thing I have in here I will put this down below also because again you know how I'm terrible with names and I don't remember who any of these things are by other than Peanuts Blender Go. And then in the back, the last thing I have in here is my perpetual calendar. And you saw the second six months of the year I have up here in front for when I'm ready to use it. Um, this is just a tip-in and I believe it's for like rings. And that's why it's so small. It's not meant to be TN size. If you blow it up, you try to make it reach, this is not going to fit on the page. So you could just do two months and make it bigger if you wanted to. I just decided to go ahead and keep it the size. It's smaller, but it's okay with me. I have it tipped in the back here. This is something I can use uh, for a lot of different things. And so the definition of the perpetual calendar, if you look it up, is a calendar that you can use any year. And that's why they don't have Monday through Sunday on here, so that you can use it over and over again. So I really like that you can purchase this once. It was a digital download, and you can use it over and over again until you're like bored or you want something different. Um, you can use this for a future log. Now, a future log in the bullet journal world, of course, is more of a thing where you keep all of your events. So you can certainly do that here and call it a future log if you wish. You can also use this as a yearly index. Now a yearly index is more for like Hobonichi or, you know, what's at the beginning of this guy here because you can see that it has Monday through Sunday on it. So you wouldn't be able to use this for the next year um, because it's meant for this specific year, if that makes sense. You can always washi tape this and just go by the numbers if you wanted to, but you can turn this into a yearly index if you wish to um, and put it in front of any like um, insert. So for instance, here's, here's a lined insert. You can go ahead and tape this in here Number all of the pages and use this as your yearly index or a perpetual calendar if you're like me and you're just too lazy to draw that out in here because I just, I am. <laughs> so this is a quick fix for that if you wanted something like that but you didn't want to do the work. You can certainly use this for a year in pixels. If I pick it up closely, you can see that here there are lines. So you could put um, specific habits if you wanted to like brushing your teeth or if you planked that day. Uh, if you did YouTube, and then go ahead and fill in the pixels if you wanted to do a, my life or my year in pixels on this. So this has a lot of different purposes that you can use it for. I enjoy it. I thought I would put it back here, especially since I'm taking away an entire planner just for work. Anything that was in there, I can move into this and have all of my calendars all in one place. So if you're someone who enjoys watching my channel and you're like, man, I really like that she has all these different calendars, but you don't think you can do all of the different calendars because sometimes I feel like maybe I can't do all of the different calendars because you want them all in one place. You can do something like this and have, you know, a calendar, like a calendar here in the front and then another calendar here. And then of course a calendar here and then a calendar here and it's all in one insert and you can carry it with you wherever you go so that's also something I'm thinking about doing and that is everything that I have in here so if you're someone who doesn't have your March set up yet or you do but you're still thinking I could use 
another thing or two to help me out. I hope that this has given you some ideas. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.